Hello class, this is the introduction for what we do every day in my classroom. There is a mantra that you need to be prepared to say your part to, and yes, this will be on the test. So you need to know what to say back and what I'm going to say, and I'd like to take a second to tell you why I say it. So, this is the routine, and I'm going to say it all for you right now, and then at the end, I want you to say it back. Even if you're watching this video, if you're home alone, watching this on your phone, whatever it is, you need to say it back to me, because this is what we're going to do every day. So, I'm going to say, hello, class, and you're all going to say back to me, hello, Coach Dad Murph, and I'll explain what in the world that means here in a second. And then I'm going to ask, what is math? And you're all going to respond, God's language for things. And then I ask, how do we learn it? And you say, we speak it. And speak is an acronym. Uh, there, Every letter stands for something, and you need to know what. But I'll explain that, too, in a second. And then last of all, I'm going to ask you, why do we do it? And you say, to know God and ourselves. So that's the routine back and forth. <clears throat> So why do I say uh, hello class? Because the most important thing is to recognize that you are human beings, that I am a human being, that we are in relationship, that we simply don't just transfer information to each other. We have civility and politeness and uh, customs about how we greet and that saying hello is something that people do when they are friends, when they are polite, when they are kind and courteous to one another. So why do I want you to call me Coach Dad? Well, actually, a student came up with that, and I think that what was going on in his mind was that a coach is somebody who might make you run laps, and they have a goal, and they are on about something. They are aiming at some particular destination that we all need to be able to do certain things, and there are penalties and laps and, and problems, you know, things that there might be where you might have to take a bench for the good of the team here that we're, there's going to be a goal-oriented capacity to being a coach. But then also a dad is somebody who loves you for who you are, whether you perform or not, and just cares about your well-being and taking care of you and being kind to you. And uh, that he thought, and I, I took it as a great compliment, that I do those things, that I try to be both a coach and a dad, but then also you can call me Murph, that I have a life, I have a wife, I have three kids, I have things that I am involved with, and I'm an individual, and my name for the people who are friends with me is Murph, and I want you to call me Murph, uh, but I would prefer if you used my full title, Coach Dad Murph. So then the second thing is that there's going to be some content to this class. We've had a greeting, and then there's going to be some content where I'm going to say, um, what is math? And you're going to say, God's language for things. So you look out here. Here's a cute little drawing of some things. There's a cute bunny with an orange carrot and some sky and some stuff like that. And that math is the language that enables us to see inside creation, Wow, there, all that science, all those goings on there, that those are equations and descriptions of things in the language of mathematics, that that is the tool that God has given us for seeing inside the created world. And we are created beings, but we have normal languages for talking to each other about human beings. So um, the way that we do it, so there's, you know, hello, what is math? Uh, how do we do it? Well, we speak it, and that this is true not just of math, but of any uh, endeavor, that you need to show up ready, you need to participate, you need to extend effort, you need to ask for help, and you need to be kind. That um, there's nothing that says you have to be smart, there's nothing that says you have to have all these abilities. You can go pretty far with just... Uh, these five principles of, of hard work and decency. So showing up ready uh, in my class means that you've got pencil, you've got uh, pen, you've got eraser, you've got a compass, protractor, and a ruler, you've got your Texas Instrument calculator, you've got graph paper, and ideally you know how to uh, split it up uh, into an ability to take notes and have those be referenceable for you later, the Cornell note system, that's a different video. And then you've done your homework, that you've either watched a video or done the math problems, that you show up ready 
uh, for class. Then once it's here, you need to participate. If you just sit there and say, I can't do it, I suck, uh, I'm not going to be able to do this, then you're not going to get as much out of it if you're just sitting there either giving up or being bored. I got this. I don't need to engage. I've already got this here. If you're bored and you've already mastered all of it, say so and help somebody else. That's participation. And I can help you to take it further. I know the math and I can help you uh, extend your knowledge and you're never done. You only get me uh, an hour or an hour and a half a day and this is their time to make use of that time. If you are simply recalcitrant and you say, I don't want to, I'd rather be somewhere else, then that's a sinful attitude on your part. That's not participating. And if you ask me, do we have to? No. At every point, you are free. You do not have to do anything you don't want to do. You just need to accept the consequences that go with you not doing what it is that you don't want to do. You are free. But you also need to extend effort, that things in the world since the fall, since Adam and Eve uh, sinned in the garden, that there are thorns and thistles. Things do not come naturally. You have to work at things for them to yield fruit to you. And in fact, especially in math class, getting wrong answers is great because the only way you will revise your knowledge is if you find out where the flaws in your knowledge are. Mistakes are awesome. Then you need to ask for help. Once you find your mistakes, you need to say, Murph, friend, neighbor, whoever is around, can you help me with this? That you need to not be afraid and you don't have to apologize for saying, I'm sorry, but can you help me with it? I want to help you. Uh, That is what I want to do in this class. That's why I structure it the way I do. And think about your question before you just rattle it off. What actually do you need? I can't reach inside your brain and figure out where the gaps are. That's your job. Ask a good question. And lastly, uh, there is kindness. And when I say kindness, I'm not thinking of Hallmark cards and pastel colors. I'm really thinking of the Hebrew word chesed, uh, which is usually romanized uh, like H-E-S-E-D or K-H-E-S-E-D or something like that. And it's got a lot of different ways that it's been translated and a lot of different things that it could mean. It could mean respect. It could mean loyal love. It could mean a lot of kindness, a lot of different things. And you do need to respect me and the office that I have uh, of teacher in the classroom. There are certain belongings here that are mine that I paid for in the classroom. There is uh, stuff that you paid for and that other kids before you have paid for and is WCAs now. And you need to respect other human beings uh, as well, not just stuff, but also uh, the persons who are in the room with you. So let's try it one last time, and uh, then we're going to do it every day from now on. So, hello class. What is math? How do we learn it? Why do we do it? See you in class.